In this video, we want to talk about a certain liquid that everything about it is strange, even its name, dry water. I've seen all types of water except dry water. The scientific name is a little hard, perfluoro. So who made this liquid? 3M company that has invented many things throughout the year. 3M calls this liquid Novec. Anywhere you find this liquid, just know that 3M made it because no other company is able to replicate it yet. 3M engineered dry water or Novec to be a certain refrigerant and that was back in the 1990s. The first thing you notice is when you pick up the bottle of dry water, you notice how heavy it is because it's one and a half times the weight of actual water. This is dry water. But why is it a liquid and it looks like normal water? Are the scientists messing with us? Just wait and we'll find out why. The first test we're gonna perform is add a toilet paper in each type of water. One in a normal water, one in dry water. When you dip the napkin inside normal water, it gets extremely wet and it wants to fall apart. But the one that goes into dry water does get wet, but not enough to damage the napkin. And when you take it out of dry water, it spills out very quickly and it dries up. But the paper towel that was in water is completely wet. It has changed form and it looks like nothing like before. It is because of these experiments that scientists call this liquid dry water. Another huge difference with dry water and normal water is that it starts to boil at 49 degrees centigrade and normal water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. And something interesting you can do is that when it's boiling, you could dip your hand in there and it will not burn you. It's a little warm, but it's boiling, so it looks extremely hot. I think it will be cool to use in a magic trick. Another interesting thing about dry water is that when you dip your hand in there and take it out, it dries up in a few seconds. But if you dip it in normal water, it's gonna stay there for a while and you need paper towels or a towel to clean it up. When dry water starts to boil, it evaporates quickly as well. If you pour 300 milliliters of dry water in a container and heat it up so it starts boiling, it will evaporate in minutes and it doesn't leave any smell or anything else. And it's always releasing carbon dioxide when it's around. If you pour it in a cup and take a match close to it, it will easily be put out. Carbon dioxide is so thick in that area that it will exchange the oxygen and put out the fire. The density of this liquid is much higher than water and also the carbon dioxide is very high in density. And the carbon dioxide is a criminal to the oxygen in that area. Anywhere it sees oxygen, it's trying to replace it and that is why it puts out fire extremely quickly. Because of it being high density, low activity and having giant molecules compared to water, it doesn't mix with any liquid. It doesn't even mix with normal water. Like for example, if you mix water with dry water, it will separate from one another like water and oil, and it's not interested in being together. Another example is that if you put a tea bag inside boiling dry water, it's not gonna do anything because the molecules are so large that they're not gonna add the color it normally does. You could say the water molecules in dry water are not interested in talking to anything else. It's like an antisocial person. If you put the same tea bag inside normal hot water, it will instantly add color and start making tea. In an experiment, they added red dye to normal water so you can tell it apart from dry water and then they mix them. As you can see, it does not mix with each other and since water is lighter, it stays on top. Water is nothing. It doesn't even mix with alcohol. Whatever amount of alcohol you put in there and you mix it, it's still not gonna mix with each other. What is this water used for anyways? It kills oxygen. It doesn't mix with any other liquid. We have to ask 3M what they were thinking creating this liquid. 
but you have to know that this water is perfect for electronics. If you pour dry water inside a computer around the motherboard, nothing will happen. Nothing is gonna get burnt out and no electricity will be passing through this liquid. Like for example, if you have a container and you put an electronic in there that's on, you could literally pour dry water on top of it and nothing will happen. The electronic can stay down there and it will work perfectly fine. One of the most part of a computer that goes on a motherboard is called the CPU, also called the processor. When a computer is on and it's working and you put a lot of pressure on it, the CPU will get extremely hot. A lot of the fans and radiators put in computers is meant to keep the CPU cold. The more powerful the computer is, the chances of your CPU getting hotter is higher and it needs more cooling. They have done this experiment and they added the motherboard inside a container of dry water and the CPU does not have a cooling system. If the CPU doesn't have a cooler, it gets extremely hot quickly and it force shuts down the PC. But when you look at the CPU inside dry water, you see that it's bubbling extremely hard because it's getting hot in that area, but the dry water is keeping it cool so it's not forcing the PC to shut down. Dry water is basically a water that doesn't damage electronics and it keeps them cool. In the most advanced computers nowadays, you could see dry water being used to cool down the CPU, but not like the experiment we just watched. It has been designed in a way where it looks like a car's cooling system, where it has a pipeline and the hot water gets replaced with cold water because it just went through the radiator. If we get thirsty, can we drink dry water? Absolutely not, because it could be toxic and damage our bodies. But if you dip your hand in there, nothing is gonna happen. Is this liquid only used in computers? No, it's mostly used in a certain area. If you've seen our video about the most powerful computers in the whole world on our channel, you know how expensive supercomputers are around the world and how much heat and fire threatens these areas. To put out these fires, you cannot use water. If they spray water in these computers, billions of dollars could be destroyed. And that is why to put out the fire in these extremely expensive server room, they use dry water. This is the most important use for dry water in the world. If these areas catch on fire, the fire extinguishing system for that room is made up of dry water and it sprays it from the ceiling and puts out the fire extremely quickly because it kills the oxygen in that whole area. By using dry water, you don't damage the computer. You also don't put any danger in the people in that area. This liquid is not cheap whatsoever because 3M asked $60 per liter. And of course, they don't just sell it to anybody. You have to show proof on where you need to use it. In normal PCs, there are water-cooled systems, but they don't use dry water in there because it's too expensive. Dry water is only found in systems meant for extremely expensive computers. And in normal computers, you can find distilled water or ethylene glycol. Back in the day, there were a lot of alchemists that were trying to turn lead into gold. But nowadays, this is modern alchemy. Basically, create a certain liquid keep the formula a secret and sell it for $60 a liter. This is alchemy.